Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's May 25th, 2018. I'm out in the uh, next to the Central Garden area. And uh, if you've been following the videos, I've been working on the Central Garden, getting it prepped for this season, getting the plants in the ground. And one of the things, one of the features we had in this Central Garden was a rebar, uh, approximately 11 foot tall, um, uh, teepee that we made out of, I think, a dozen pieces of 20 foot or 22 foot length rebar that were folded over in such a way to create a teepee so we could grow cucumbers up on like a trellis in a sense. And uh, it wasn't as productive, it was more difficult to have the drip irrigation go around it, so I decided to take that out this year. And as you know, Bumblebee, this, the mini excavator, is what we have to do a lot of the work around here on the property. And, uh, and that gets to be a challenge when you get something that exceeds the, the normal capacity of a piece of equipment like this. Now, we have a weight restrictions, we have reach restrictions, we have the volume of soil or material that we can pick up restrictions, and we have height restrictions, especially when you're talking about a full bucket. You know, we can only go so far, so high, because the bucket, typically, when we scoop, we're grabbing a hold of material, picking it up, moving it to the side, and, and dumping it when where, wherever we're going to do it, put it in a dump truck or a dump trailer, whatever. Well, two friends of mine, Luke and John, uh, who did much of the work around here with a very large excavator. They actually have two excavators. They're a big company, or a small, small company, but big time compared to what I have here. Uh, they told me about one of the hacks or tricks that they would use with their excavator at different times in different situations. One of the things they would do is reverse the bucket. So if you look back there, that bucket on that excavator is backwards. <laughs> Try to get this thing in focus again. So what I did was, and that's a quick release bucket, uh, I detached the bucket, turned the bucket around, and re-grabbed a hold of it. One of the caveats is you have to modify your hand motions when you're using one of the joysticks, the right-hand side joystick, in order to know how to maneuver that bucket when you're trying to pick something up, it's in the opposite direction as far as the articulation of the bucket itself. So instead of going like this and scooping uh, material this way, we're actually scooping things this way. Uh, <laughs> sort of this way, if you could imagine my arm hooked to it. That looked kind of goofy, but anyways. So I just wanted to share with you this little trick or hack, however you want to describe it, to, to be able to get a little bit more reach, especially going in height-wise, so that you can pick up materials without the bucket banging into whatever it is, or you can at least get up there really high. The teeth slipped right in between the tops of, the, of that teepee just perfectly, and it worked out great. So, if you have any comments or questions or other suggestions on simple tricks or hacks that you do with pieces of equipment on your property, please leave them below. I think that'd be awesome to share these tips and tricks because I would never have known about this unless uh, John and Luke had mentioned this to me. I'd, I'd be stuck in this situation trying to put an, an extension on that bucket to pick, pick that uh, unit up or I would have done some damage to the teepee. So, if you thought this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, share it with your friends, and by all means, have a fantastic day, folks. Bye-bye now.